Okay, in, quantity, in column A, we have absolute value of x plus negative 2, and in column B, we have absolute value of x minus 2. Now, x cannot equal 0, and the important part here is do not start trying to experiment with things and forms, meaning don't say, huh, these two kind of look the same. Huh, I see. I could take the absolute value of x here, and then because this is negative 2, I can put something here, and I can put negative 2 on the outside, and I can add them together, and then they're the same. I can see I can make them the same. That's great. But wait a second. Whoever said that that's a valid mathematical operation? It's definitely something you do not want to assume when you're actually taking the test. You want to play it safe, and therefore plug in numbers. Come up here with a little, little chart, and our little chart's going to have a and b, and we're going to plug in different numbers. So it's the value of x. So let's assume x is equal to 1. Remember, x cannot equal 0. Let's start small. If x is 1, what is the value of column a? We'll plug that back in here, and absolute value of negative 2 will always be 2. So you can almost rewrite that simply as absolute value of x plus 2, and that's going to be 3. For column b, put the 1 back in here for the x. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. That's 1. OK. Ding, ding, ding. A is bigger now. So we know the answer can't be C. We can get rid of C. And the answer can't be B. The answer either has to be A or D. So if we can see it, show that, oh, in some instances, when we plug in a certain value for X, B is bigger, then the answer has to be D. Let's see. Can we do that? So we pick another value here. And let's pick 2. Well, what happens? We plug that back in there. We get 4. Plug it into column B. We get 0. Huh, column A seems to be getting bigger while column B is getting smaller. That's not a good thing for us because we want to disprove that A is bigger. So instead of continuing along here getting bigger and bigger for X, let's choose a negative number. How about negative 1? Well, plug it back in. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. That's great. And then we go to column B. We plug in negative 1. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Absolute value is 3. Wait a second. They're equal. We, we were saying that A was bigger. So if suddenly the answer is C, the answer switched, then we know that... Either them are right and the answer is D.